Hello, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. Today's date is Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. It is the anniversary of the 9-11 tragedy, which, while it was a tragedy here in the U.S., it did serve to start the waking up process for many, many people, myself included. So while I was aware of some anomalies in our plane of existence before that, that was a pivotal day for me for the purposes of waking up. So to those who genuinely lost loved ones that day, who were harmed in rescuing or attempting to rescue loved ones, I send them all my sincerest respect and admiration. And it's been a long time that those losses remain and uh, left holes in a lot of good people's lives. But that's not what this video is about. This video is going to look at an element of last night's debate between our 45th president and Kamala Harris, the uh, two top contenders for the presidency of the United States. Now, I would like to shout out a really neat channel I found today on YouTube. He hasn't got a lot of subscribers yet. I hope that you will agree with me that the content he's putting out is worth subscribing to and bump his numbers up. Because to me, I couldn't believe he only had less than a thousand, as I'm making this video, subscribers. He's putting out content with the finesse and professionalism you see with big, big channels. And I hope his momentum continues. I've shouted out some little creators in the past who just didn't continue the process and start putting out content. So I hope, I hope his output is steady increases because I really liked what he did. Let me take you to my share screen, which is really just going to be two links to YouTube videos. So today's video description box is going to have those links. You don't have to go to a compilation. I've just got them kind of concentrated in one area for the purposes of sharing the information in this video. Let me go to that and I will tell you who and why I'm thinking someone deserves a shout out. This is a thumbnail from last night's debate. It was at the point in time when in vitro fertilization was being discussed. Here is the creator I was impressed with, News Decode. As you can see right now as I'm making this, he's got 728 subscribers. It's a 33 minute video. It's very well done. He uh, lists what he's talking about, <laughs> then it kind of presents in that order. So if there's a topic you're not too interested in, you can kind of you know, pop through it if you want to. But I really liked his comments. If you notice, one of the things I do is I try to always show you where I have found something that is either added to my information base or piqued my curiosity. And he he shares some really candid opinions. And I liked that. One of them, look, I'm going to go back to that, that uh, thumbnail. He just said, this looks like a bloke in a mask and that looks like CGI. And he goes on to explain why he thought that the Trump appearing in the video was CGI and gave some good tips on how we can use our own eyes and ears and uh, um, discern some CGI representation ourselves. And it was during the point in his video of the IVF segment that he mentioned where to look and why he thought Trump was being um, portrayed via CGI in that debate. So we have the bloke in a mask with a uh, an auditory aid here, and then we have a possible CGI representation of our 45th president. Now, I don't fault him for that. I do fault her for uh, cheating with the uh, ear device, but that's nothing new for the Democratic Party and candidates, um, because I don't know that I would want to have someone as important as our 45th president walking into the ABC studios because that was dim, definitely a den of vipers. And it was not an unbiased, um, moderated segment of time. And I was disappointed. That's one of the reasons I chose to look at sound bites the day after and not watch the whole thing. ABC behaved just as I thought they would. Typical mainstream media, narrative lackeys and extremely biased in uh, how they performed. <clears throat> That's the Laura's view of things. But anyway, back to our gentleman. 
again, news decode, um, giving him a shout out. I think it's very well deserved. I also then found a clip that was just one minute long that is of the uh, comments made about IVF fertilization. And you can look at the markers that um, we're told to look for in that news decode video and decide for yourself if uh, our 45th president was represented via CGI in the debates last night. So <clears throat> anyway, let's ask the universe about that. That's what I want to do. So <laughs> I know I'm not worried about the bloke in a mask. We had that figured out long, long ago. But let's ask if, for whatever reason, <clears throat> if there's truth in the speculation that um, President Trump was represented via CGI during the debates last night, plus additional insights and information that the universe wants us to know. Okay, I'm gonna switch the camera, move the cat. <laughs> we'll find out what the universe wants to share with us. I am noticing some video issues as I make this video. Hopefully they won't interfere with the card read, but I'm going to continue because once I work with the cards on camera, I do not stop the camera. I want you to see that uh, they are chosen <laughs> at apparent random. And we want information and insights about this debate, particularly is there truth to that thought that there was a CGI representation of <clears throat> our 45th president, plus additional insights and information the universe wants us to know? And we would like this information to be free of any obscuring or veiling. So uh, share with us what would have been shared with us prior to any efforts to obscure or veil information. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, the Devil, Two of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. You know, I've done a numerous readings, um, not always for videos, in the last couple of weeks. And over and over again, in the near future, the Ten of Cups comes up with this, which is a very reassuring card. And I, I love seeing it even here. And it has nothing to do with, you know, the uh, anything I think but the universe trying to give us some information as we're asking. So we asked, was there truth? Now, we don't have a hard yes yet. But, and hard yeses, as you know, if you watch my channel, are aces. But what we have is some information about the debate. So we were asking, was there truth to that plus additional insights and information? Now, I'm already getting that there's a yes because there was very good cause for concern for the safety of Mr. T if he had, there was plans to uh, do something to him at the debates, either on the way or during or after the debate, okay? And so he was only able to safely join via CGI. So that's, that's why. And so now let's look then at uh, what's going on here. We've got this, lots of events going on. They were trying to keep a calamity from happening. Okay. The, uh, again, that it just wasn't a safe environment to physically actually enter into. Plus there's that whole element of the fact that a lot of this is, as they keep saying, a movie that's being played out. Um, so that's going on too. Now, recent past, we got the world card here showing up. Well, not the world, but the two, which the gentleman is looking at a path. And that showed up in a recent reading too, that uh, the path forward is kind of clear. We're ready to go out on it. There has to be some endings. And the Trump team made sure that one of those endings wasn't him last night at that debate. Let's look at the near future here. That's when it starts looking good. I love when the near future looks really good and bright. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of an agreement going on here with uh, the two party big candidates in the party and uh, the debates. Um, 
I think it was a great, you know, <laughs> yeah, you're going to be a bloke in a mask and I'm going to show up via, you know, video or CGI. Um, and that's the way it is. So, uh, and that may happen again because keeping the original Mr. T safe is of paramount importance. Okay. Now there's a firm foundation. This always indicates a firm foundation, which is good for actions that are being taken and the steps forward, the things that are going to be happening in our world in the near future. And we're going to be very, very, very happy with the changes as they come about. Now let's get four more cards. Again, these cards will be additional insights or information for the near future. They are not gonna be as impactful as these two cards, okay? This one says firm foundations that we're gonna be happy about and all generations are going to uh, celebrate some of the changes coming down the pike and, uh, uh, and possibly even with the, uh, um, the lead up to the November 5th balloting opportunity, we're gonna be happy with what we discover and see. Okay, another card showing another 10. Okay, and uh, this one is Pentacles, which is another uh, material, good blessings, assets are, you know, in good shape, multi-generation, again, taking care of, celebrating, taking care of, I love it, Ace of Wands, so there's our yes, okay, Mr. Decode, you were absolutely correct in saying that was a CGI, then we have the Six of Cups, and another Ace, the Ace of Swords. So we got two Aces showing up here. Okay, the uh, Six of Cups is a card of sibling love, care. So in other words, brotherly love and taking care of the needs and uh, um, safety of little ones. There's also kind of a, a reconciliation and reunion to uh, this. So saying as things change in our world, it's actually going to be, we're going to be finding that we celebrate what we share with others rather than what we differ with them about. And that's really beautiful. And then the two aces, those keep showing up. I love it. I absolutely love it. So um, that's our answer. He was right. CGI. There's a reason for it. Shenanigan avoidance. And there we have it. I apologize for the camera issues during the uh, um, card portion of this video. I will try to see what happened. I do have a young cat who may have decided to chew on a wire. <laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> she almost stopped one of my meditations <laughs> doing that. Oh, so by the way, stay for the afterward because it will be about this month's meditation. Okay, let's talk though, recap what we had. I shared a small creator who's really putting out some nice content, at least in my opinion, from what I've seen so far, News Decode and uh, just gave him a shout out. And if you feel like uh, it was a worthy shout out and want to subscribe, I would love it if you did. I'd like to see him get a nice jump in numbers. I think he deserves it. Uh, and uh, I, I liked what he did because just as I teach you sometimes where I found things or how I've come to a conclusion or come upon some information or connected it, he shared why what he looks for when he's looking for is an, uh, an image, a CGI or not. And so there was a little teaching involved there that adds to our knowledge base. I loved that. And then that made the focus for our question today to the universe. So we asked, was there true? Is, was Mr. T, um, our 45th president, was he represented at the debate via CGI? And uh, it came along late in the read, but we had two different aces that said, absolutely yes. Absolutely. Now, early in the read, we got the information that there were some uh, events planned and they weren't, it was a safety issue is why he chose to be represented via CGI. So it was definitely our 45th president's opinions and knowledge that was shared during that debate, but he was represented via CGI. So, <clears throat> And what he was avoiding was shenanigans, okay? There was an ending plan. There was harm planned for him during that, either going into or during or after the debate. And uh, by participating in this fashion, he avoided it. The uh, near future is looking really good, really good. First of all, there seems to be some agreement among parties about how the whole drama of 
the election cycle in the United States and what have you is going to play out. So they were, and it may just be for like this debate. <laughs> I know you're showing up in a mask. I'm not showing up unless I'm, you know, the uh, CGI. So that could, it could have been that simple, but uh, just reassuring us that uh, the changes that are coming down the pike and the things we're going to see there, we've got a firm foundation for the change that is upon us. And we're going to be happy with those results. Absolutely happy. We had another 10 show up. Our third one of the read with the pinnacles. So again, the first one said he was avoiding some shenanigans. And then further ahead, it said, hey, but in the near future, we're going to be really happy with what we see, what we hear, what changes. And uh, again, looks like a lot of those are going to be changes that we can actually touch, feel, and put our hands on. Whether it's real estate or assets or you know, something like that. I don't know, but we're going to be happy about it. And I like that. So that's what we got today with our question in last night's rather ludicrous debate, which was a three on one, two moderators, your piece, Kamala and Kamala. Sorry. I know she doesn't want to be Kamala and he, whatever, the bloke in a mask. <laughs> And his two sidekicks and Mr. T. <laughs> so, guys, we got to remember, I can't explain why things are playing out the way they are. I don't understand it. It sure isn't how I would choose to do it. But one thing I've learned is I'm not going to give my energy away. I'm not going. I know a lot of people sat through that debate last night and got mad. And remember, we've talked about this. The deep state, if they can't harvest loose from us by making us fearful, then they like anger. It's kind of like their second favorite meal, okay? And I didn't want to give them either one. And I hope you didn't either, or you caught yourself and got on a different track really fast, okay? For whatever reason, this is playing out the way it's playing out. And hopefully, it's uh, we're just kind of marking some time until some big, almost cosmic, if not cosmic, changes happen to our world, our plane of existence. And things improve and get more aligned with what was originally intended for the human race when we were crafted and created. That's what my hope is. So that's it for the uh, political element of this read. And I thank you so much for your time and attention. If you choose not to stay for the afterward, but you'd like it, I extend you love, light, and everything bright. Bye. Now, the meditation. This coming Sunday is the third Sunday of the month. And at 2 p.m., the usual time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. London, and you can uh, convert for your time zone. We will be doing a meditation. And I have chosen, despite the fact that I've got some really good suggestions from people that were definitely worth considering, I have chosen to do this month's meditation about this nanny state we live in and the ending of it. So if you're in agreement with me that you're tired of some unseen people, choosing how much or how little we can absorb and handle and restricting our flow of information and truth as a result no matter what their motives are if you're tired of it like i am let's meditate about it and manifest a change a big change because the truth shouldn't be parsed out in little teaspoons it should just be available for people to, to absorb and, and digest and deal with at their pace, but it should all be available, in my opinion. And I think that that is more in alignment with what was meant when we were created and crafted and given these brains and logic and common sense and all the other good discernment tools that we should have that they've tried to dumb out of us, but only dumbed down on us. It's reversible, totally reversible. You just have to be more motivated. And I am, and I know a lot of you are. So let's meditate about an end to the nanny state. And not just in my country, but across this entire plane of existence. That'll be the focus for our meditation. It's non-denominational, and you are welcome to be part of it. Thank you for your time, your attention, your viewership, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Until next time, I send you love, light, and everything bright. If you want it, it's yours. <laughs>